guys welcome back to another video so today's video is a little bit different i am going to be removing some excess acrylic from my nails and um, i think what i've done is literally filed them all the way down and had them short for a while but i was like damn it's time for a fresh sit i am gonna get this sorted out and we are gonna do it right now so let's get into this video I'm always doing the most Finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back Let it swing right back Back, back Okay, so when I'm removing my nails, I do go ahead and debulk them as much as possible, usually removing like 90% of the acrylic using the four extra coarse e-file bit, which is from my website. It is the best bit for removing bulk quick, like so freaking quick. Um, so once I've done that, I then go ahead and soak in my acetone and because I'm me and I hate waiting for things, I literally soak for a few minutes at a time. So it's still, you know, I should just soak for longer and then scrape the whole lot off. But I just do a few minutes, pull them out, scrape them. A few minutes, pull them out, scrape them and file. Um, but this tool is fabulous. It is our gel remover tool, which is available again on the website. And I will link everything down below that is available now. So you guys can check it out if you want to. So yeah, I'm just going through the process of removing all of that excess acrylic because sometimes I do also like just remove a little bit and then I'll come in with a fresh set over the top because you can't really tell, but I really did want to get everything off. Um, I definitely didn't do that, but I tried, you know. My patience ain't good. That's not my patience, I guess. It's the fact that I don't have much time. Um, so yeah, I've gone through that stage i've filed i've dusted everything off and next i'm coming in with the hoof sticks so these are the new hoof pushes that we have available at glitter planet so they are made of like a pumice kind of stone or a torridium stone i think sometimes you call them um so what this is doing is it's buffing away the excess cuticle and overgrown skin that's gone down onto the nail plate which can cause lifting product um to not adhere properly to the nail so this step is super gentle and because of the shape of the hoof pusher you can see that I'm getting right up in there so these are areas that you would struggle to get a nail file in but if you're uncomfortable using an e-file with your manicure bits or if you don't have an e-file this is another alternative or an added step if you really want to make sure that you are doing a thorough prep job um, I just turn around and use that thin area and you can get right in those side walls and right up to the cuticle and just really do a thorough prep and get rid of all that excess skin and you can see it all coming away from my nail here um, and bear in mind I did already soak my nails and file them so that will have removed some of that excess skin and cuticle on my nail plate and this still proceeds to remove even more which is absolutely fabulous so i'll link those down below because i know so many of you are interested in them um so definitely check those out so once i'm happy with that i do come in and clean my hands and sanitize with the safe scrub and then i'm going to be applying the easy tips so these are the clear easy tips from glitter planet and i've just popped them in my tip box i am praying to the guards that this that this that the tip boxes come back in stock soon we are literally just waiting on the stock delivery for them but i haven't been given a date as of yet just because obviously all of the stuff that's going on it's just delayed so much stuff it has backed up a lot like damn um, but yeah hopefully soon they will be in and you guys can get your hands on them so I'm just using the instant nail glue and I'm going to apply the easy tips as close to the free edge as possible and just making sure that I'm applying them straight and lined up and that I apply them at a 45 degree angle and then press them onto the nail. That way I am going to minimize any air bubbles or anything on the free edge under where the glue is. You don't want to get any air bubbles just because that's not going to create a strong bond. It allows room for bacteria to grow and it's just not cool. So don't, just don't do it, okay? So yeah, this is how my nails look now and 
Of course, I love these tips full length, but I wanted a coffin shape and I did want a little bit of length off. So I'm just coming in with the outer space tip cutters and trimming off the end. And then we have literally the perfect coffin shape ever. Like, look at that. All I've done is snip off the ends and it is glorious. So now that I'm happy with the length and I've got my tips applied and my nails prepped, I have cleansed them and I'm ready to apply my bonder. So this is the Pro Bond from my brand Nailmate. It's available at glitterplanetuk.com and I'm just coming in applying that to the natural nail. So with any primers, acid primers, acid free primers, you want to ensure that you are not getting anything on your skin. Um, or flooding that area so that it touches your side walls because if you continue to do that you will develop either a skin allergy allergic reactions you can develop like dermatitis dryness itchiness redness all that crap stuff um, so yeah definitely be careful and control your products and don't overexpose your skin to anything um, if you've watched me for a while you will know that I always work neat like there's some nail techs that I don't know, don't really respect the fact that the products that we are using can be dangerous if used incorrectly. So they shouldn't be all over your skin or your fingers. They should literally stay on the nail plate. That is what they are designed for. So I'm just coming in with Nailmate Crystal Clear Acrylic and I'm applying that at the cuticle in one quite large bead. You just eyeball it as to what size nail plate you have and after practicing and knowing your products and getting to know your ratios and everything like that you will just know what size bead you need without even really thinking about it do you know what i'm saying so you'll just look at the nail and go like yep i need like a medium bead and then you pop it on the nail work that bead and blend it down so yeah that is how i apply my clear base and then once i'm done with that i can come in with my acrylic design so i just wanted to share a quick video um of this and this is the prep that I did prior to my previous nails which are already up on my channel so if you want to check them out then definitely do that Duh. do that do so I'll try and link them down below thank you so much for Ugh. really <laughs> thank you so much for watching and as always remember that you are bomb.com let us fuck and don't ever let anybody tell you any different because you've got this and I love you bye